we are doing a kitchen supplies tier list today, which is pretty fitting that it's Tong doing this. So am I judging it on looks or like combat ability? I mean, we can do a bit of both. First up, we have a source pattern. Whereabouts would a source pattern go? It looks very nice. It could be pretty decent for combat, but also I feel like mm. it could also be pretty clunky. It's not quite as good as like a yes, frying it's pan. It's not a frying pan yeah, or like a bit, knife. Yeah. So I would put it in maybe A tier just because you can boil water yeah. with it too. Yeah. Because you can throw the boiling water on somebody. Oh, you boil water in a kettle. Well, you can boil it in here too. What if you're like making pasta? Uh, yeah, fair enough. Okay, salt shaker, very basic. Does and it also, contain salt? Yes, it contains salt, but also I don't think it could be very useful for offensive capabilities. I don't think so. Um, It'd probably go C tier, yeah. like you could poison someone with a lot of it. Next up, we have the pepper shaker. Pepper shaker is easily B tier. It's slightly better just yeah. because you can make people sneeze. But other than that, it yeah. doesn't have much of an advantage over the salt. It may be just a slight distraction. We uh, mentioned this earlier. The frying pan. So the frying pan, basically just a saucepan, but better. That would be I, S tier. Yeah, I, I would say. Have you seen S the tier. movie Tangled? Like, yeah. That's all that you... It's, it's got decent offensive that's capability. That's what you've got, like, Next up, we have oven gloves. Not the best offensive capability, but if Not they... offensive, but it could be used as armor. It could be, yeah. And equally uh, paired with, I mean, you mentioned earlier, saucepan with boiling water. You know, you're not going to want to pick that saucepan up with your bare hand. You'd burn I'd yourself. probably put it in A tier just because you could pick up the hot things, but you could combine it with the saucepan yeah, and yeah. use that as a helmet, and those can be like your gauntlets. They probably wouldn't be too protective, but uh, they definitely help with heat. You'd look menacing. You would look pretty menacing, to be fair. Next up, we have the spatula. I'd put that maybe C, no, uh, B tier. You can yeah, whack I mean, people with it, but like, other than like making people go "ow," it doesn't really do anything. But also, it is more effective than the salt. Yeah, probably. Uh, up next, the fire extinguisher, because everyone Ooh, needs everyone needs a fire extinguisher on hand when they're cooking. I put that up in S tier, because like if someone's S-tier. like got a flamethrower, or you can blind somebody. <laughs> yeah, I, I, and then when it's empty, you can. Give it a good swing at them. That too. It could go well with the saucepan, you knock them out, and then you can like suffocate somebody with the fire extinguisher. Yeah, that's maybe a bit too far, but yeah, you could do that. No such thing. This is going to get dark, I feel. (laughs) This is going to get very dark. Next up, we have a baking tray. That's just the flat thing, right? Yeah. So I think that's useless. That's D tier. Oh, no, like, what are you no, gonna do could, with that? It's like I mean a bigger, more bulky spatula, and not on a stick. Okay, but also you can grab two of the corners and whack someone someone around the head with it. But I feel I, like it wouldn't hurt that much. I feel like it would bend. I feel especially like if it's a cheek one. If if maybe you've got like a towel or cloth or something you could wrap it around your arm and have like a shield maybe that is true maybe it is a bit deserving of something better we'll put it up in c tier because yeah, like I think... if you have a towel there's no guarantee so it's not entirely useless i mean to be fair if you don't have a towel maybe take your shirt off or something if, you, if you're really desperate for a shield of some sort could True. repurpose a baking tray to be as such. Next up, we have a grater. Um, Ooh, that is S tier. Oh, che- wait, which grater? Cheese che- grater? Like, like yes. a cheese grater, yeah. I feel like that's, that is definitely. It's it's sort of a follow up weapon. You don't you don't use it as like the initial salt, but then if you're wanting to properly hurt someone, you could probably or do like some if real you're... damage. 
Like, if you've lost your frying pan and, like, that's all you have, you can just grab onto the handle and just start swinging. No one's going to want to go near that. I, mm. Even if you can't, like, get close, like, no one's going to want to get cheese grater. Okay, so if you're just swinging the cheese grater, the grate of it's not going to do much. It's, it, it's when you've got... Oh, because the grain goes it's, the other way, doesn't it? It's when you've got your opponent tied up. You torture them with the cheese grater. You, you said that I was bringing this to like a dark level with a fire extinguisher thing. It's fine. It's gone there now and it's staying there. But like, I, f I feel like it, it's definitely it's it's definitely a follow up thing. You know, it's it's not not great on its own. Ah, great. I'm gonna pretend that was on purpose. Um, it's not great on its own, but as as a follow up. It could do some damage. So I think S tier, you could do some proper damage with it as long as you've already got someone knocked out. Next up, we have a ladle. Is it black I would sword? say that's A tier. Uh, 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 yeah, a ladle's decent because a ladle is. I mean, it's like a spatula, but the actual offensive part that you're going to hit people with is harder and, if, and it's probably less likely to bend. That's true. And, like, if you want to go the torture aspect, seeming as though, like, we're already, like, yeah. in dark places with this whole tier list, like, you can scoop the boiling water and use the ladle. Yes. Like, when that, your opponent's make it, down. Make, make it last longer, yeah. Yes. This went from, like, a defense tier <laughs> list to a torture tier list real quick. Next up, we have a jug. Like, just a, just a normal drinks jug. Well, that is D tier. Yeah, it's just it's... gonna break. You can't put anything yeah. boiling in it. Yeah, I think you could maybe get one or two good hits around someone's head. But even then, it wouldn't but, really yeah. hurt, let alone like incapacitate somebody. Yeah, yeah. Next up, the measuring jug, which is the same but made of glass and with like measurements along the side. And I, I, I think I think they tend to be tempered glass as well. So you you could you could do some proper damage with that before it even broke. And when it breaks... And when it breaks, you have, yeah. like, a knife. <laughs> yeah, you've got AoE attack as well. Next up, we have a normal glass, uh, which I feel is a bit of a step down. Cause it's, it's, it's yeah, not, I'd say that it's B tier. Yeah. Because, like, you don't it, have a handle, you can't swing with it, but, like, one good throw with that can yeah. distract someone, which is what the spatula is for. And the other thing... I mean, I mean equally... If you're up close and you've got a glass in your hand, you just smash it around the head. I mean, it will hurt your hand as well, unless you're wearing the oven glove. If you're wearing the oven glove, you might you might not be stabbed by the glass. Yeah, I told you it would work. And also, if, you, if you've got one glass, you've almost certainly got more. So you can use, them, you can use them as projectiles and throw a few. Next up, the mug. You mentioned how it doesn't how the glass didn't have a handle, you know, the mug's got a handle. Uh, so you can I would still put it in B tier, because, like, it's I, not as, like, big and bulky as the measuring cup. Yeah, it's more like a glorified regular glass. Like It's it's still going to smash on one impact, but also, by smashing it around the head while holding the handle, you're not going to get cut. So you don't have to have true. the oven glove to protect yourself there. It's a slightly better but, glass. But, it's like if you pack a punch to the glass, basically. A butter knife. Offensively, it's not going to do much. I because... have actually been hit with a butter knife on my finger, and I do have a scar where I was hit with the butter knife. Okay, so it's... Maybe, maybe like it's it not... It can cause a little pain. Like, I'll still put yeah. it C tier. Yeah, I think... But you could use it as a torture weapon. Slightly. To a degree. I think probably its biggest drawback is the fact that it doesn't add much length to your attack. It, if, if it was longer, you could maybe use a butter knife to keep people away at least. And you don't really but, have a proper grip, so you're probably going yeah. to drop it. Similarly, up, up next, we've got the fork. Probably B tier. I, yeah, I mean, in a... In a if if you're in a, if you're in a pinch, I would say grabbing a fork could be quite good because it, you can stab someone through the hand as as long as you get a decent 
angle of attack. A four, it would have be been an eight tier. Like it could be eight tier, but it doesn't. Like I said, no real grip, so you can't stab yeah. too hard with it. So yeah, eight tier. Yeah. The spoon. I don't know if it was just fictional, but I swear I've heard stories of people uh, scooping eyes out with spoons. Um, so another uh, another torture I mean, device. That's certainly a possibility. So it's another torture I'd device, say uh, possibly. Uh, yeah, you, you've, if, if you're in a pinch and all you've got is a spoon, you can't really do much. Uh, the mixing bowl. I would say B tier, because depending on the size of the bowl, you could use it as a helmet, but you can also grab the yeah. rim of it and just start like swinging with true, it. True, true. So, it's, it's, so that looks like a pretty sturdy bowl. Yeah, it is. It looks like that one's metal at least. So it could be somewhat defensive and somewhat offensive as well. Next up, the regular bowl. I would say similar to the glass and the mug. To be honest. I was going to say, it's really just a bigger, wider mug without yeah. a handle. I think... So, yeah. Yeah, I think maybe another beater then. The plate, which, again, is just another bowl but flat. I think the plate think... has an advantage that could send it think... to eight here. Because if it breaks, you have, like, a bunch of triangles. And, like, you can really yeah. grab onto those and stab with them. I think so. Like as long as you can break it first, I feel like that can make it into A tier. But I, th I think barely. a plate also over a mug and a bowl and a cup and that. It's most of them are larger, so you're gonna have slightly more reach. And don't forget that one scene in Breaking Bad in the first season. That guy was gonna kill Walter with a plate. That is definitely an A tier weapon. Okay. Yeah. Later. A rolling pin. Ooh, that's a good one. I mean... If it's a it, strong one? It, yeah, if, if the handles are on strong, you could get some good beans out of that. I would say S tier, because it's kind of like a more portable fire extinguisher, like in, in beating yeah. terms, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. The whisk. I'm gonna have to go with B because it's not like the spoon where you can like do a bunch of scooping or the butter knife. Like yeah, you really can't I... do anything with it. Like you you can yeah. hit someone with it, but it's not really gonna hurt, especially because like it's bendy on the yeah, end. Yeah, the the, the 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 bits are just gonna like squash, and it's not gonna actually hit them. The whisk is gonna take more of a beating than whoever you hit with it. Unless, maybe, you were to undo the like connections on one side of each strand and then use it sort of like a cat of nine tails whip kind of thing. That's true, but I, I just don't feel like but, it would be effective. Yeah. Like, you'd need time I, I, to be able to yeah. do that. I feel like in, in a pinch it's, it certainly wouldn't be particularly helpful. Next up, we have the chopping board. Now that's a good weapon, I'd say, because it's like the the baking pan. Yeah, it's it's similar. But to I feel like it would tray. bend less. Like you could still use yeah. it as a shield, but it wouldn't bend if you hit someone with it. And I think so. It's it's going to be easier to make the chopping board into a shield as well, especially one like that picture where it's got a handle. You can, if you're desperate, just grab the handle and hold it against your arm. And use that as a shield. It's not going to be. So yeah, that would probably be B tier, just because it's above the yeah. B tier. Yeah, it, I mean, obviously, it's not going to be perfect as a shield, but it's still going to. It's going to be at least as good as the baking pan. And also, being wooden, if someone's attacking with like a knife or something, chances are it could get stuck in there. And, and then you have a knife. Yeah. And also, your opponent doesn't have a knife. Next up, the sieve. D tier. Yeah. There's it's, really nothing you can do with that. Similarly to the whisk, you're going to be hitting them and it's going to be a bit springy. It's, it's not going to do as much damage as anything else. And I think I'm probably going to put the colander there too, just because okay. it's plastic. I think... I mean... This colander looks plastic, but you can also get metal colanders. Just bear in mind. So if, if you have a metal colander, that could make a so decent C -tier. helmet. 
a, a metal colander could make a decent helmet. C tier just yeah. because it has the holes in it. Next up, the toaster. That's a tough one. Obviously, the, the toaster comes with a plug as well, which you could use to That's choke true. someone out. And, you know. That would be A tier. Because, uh, yeah, like, if you I can think... knock someone out, all you have to do is, like, fill up the bathtub and yeah. just toss that right <laughs> yeah. in. You know, next up, we have the fridge. Obviously, portability is limited. Um. If you're in a room with a fridge, there can be anything in there from like frozen meat to like maybe you put some like old food in there for leftovers and like left a knife in there. Or you could yeah. overturn it onto somebody and crush yeah. them. Um, also, you could do something to keep the fridge closed, like tear all the shelves out, stick someone in there, keep the fridge closed. You know? And then you have a prison. Exactly. You know, just take it down to the tip, leave it there, and you know, you, your problem's gone. Uh, so where, where did we say? S tier? S tier. S tier. Tin foil. I would say it's... C tier, because like, if you unroll it, it's going to be pretty useless, but you could bap someone with it. Yeah. You can maybe, like, if you knock someone out, use this like a blindfold. I don't know. Yeah, I mean... Depending on how much it's, it's tinfoil you have, mostly. depending on how like much tinfoil you have, you could potentially use it to bind someone. If if you really desperate and you can't get the fridge shelves out, or you could close them in the fridge and use the tinfoil to like tie the handles together. Yeah, that, that could work. Next up, baking paper, similar to tinfoil, but. I'd probably put it in the same spot for the yeah. same reasons. Next up, the oven. Obviously, most of the time I mean, it's going to can... be in place, so you're not going to be able to move it much. That's true. Uh, I want to put it in quack tier, but if you don't have the time to heat it, then it'll true. be pretty useless, so I, I might mean... just put it in S tier. Because, like, assuming, like, you could keep it on, then pretty much anything else can go inside yeah, of the true. oven and be heated I think, up. I think its main... But just because... It, its main drawback is the fact that ovens, certainly over here, they tend to be built into cupboards and stuff, so that you couldn't really move the oven like you can move the fridge. You couldn't push the oven onto someone. I think its main use would be slamming someone's head in the door that's true but it's also got the torture well, factor yeah. you know like you heat up that spoon and then suddenly that spoon's an s tier weapon as long as you've got the um oven glove on because you don't want to burn yourself as as you do I mean, a pro gamer move heat up the oven glove even if even, even if you don't have the spoon with it you heat up the oven they've usually got metal trays on them you just stick someone's hand in there you know they're branded for life Gotta go an S tier. Yeah, I, th I think an S tier for that one. A tin opener or can opener, whichever you prefer. Now, it is small, but it does have an advantage over the butter knife and the spoon, which is the grip and the weight. Because, like, you yeah. can, like, hit someone in the forehead with that. Yeah. And, like, maybe knock them out. So I feel like that would be B tier. I think maybe as a torture device again. Because if... It, 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 right, you've got someone unconscious. You take your tin opener and put it on their ear. Ooh. When they wake up, you start to slowly turn it just to slowly cut off their ear. Oh my god. Where, where are we setting for the tin opener then? Because I think... A tier. Yeah. Because I think as a weapon... It's all right, but then as a torch device, it really excels. The kettle. Assuming it had water boiling in water in it, it could go into quack tier because you could toss mm. boiling water, and once you're out of boiling water, they tend to be quite heavy and have a handle. So you're kind of like getting like the torture True. factor and the weapon factor like all in one True. neat bundle. I mean, even if you've not got water in, like you use it as a melee weapon to start with, knock them out, and then you fill it with water to torture them. And, whereas with the saucepan, you're going to 
struggle more to pour it out bit by bit. Kettles have a spout. You can easily pour out a little bit at a time. It's like the leatherman of utensils. Like, you can do anything with it. It's just, just a, a normal sharp knife, you know, for chopping vegetables or anything like that. Like, it might go into quack tier, because, like, once again, like, you have the weapon ability and the torture ability. Exactly. It's... But it is a lot smaller. Like, with the kettle, you could probably try blocking with it, but with a knife, you can't. But also, depending on what weapon your attacker has, if you go at them brandishing a massive knife, they will probably run away. That is true. You do have fear factor. It's like, it's good, but is it kettle good? Um, I would say so. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I would say it's kettle good. Next up is the bread knife. Although you lose the stabbing ability, I think the still a knife. serrated blade would make it a lot better for torture. I would put it in S tier because like it is pretty good as a knife, but you yeah, do lose I think... the stabbing ability, which is one of the best attacks yeah. with a knife. I I, I think for torture, swinging it, not going to right, do much. For torture, you're going to say go for someone's arm. You might even be able to cut through their bone with the bread knife, which most likely. Yeah. And even better, it would take a while because you'd be sawing through the bone. So it would hurt them a hell of a lot more than, like, a good clean chop with a normal knife. That's true. I don't think you could get through the bone with a normal knife. I mean, Unless it was, like, a meat cleaver. Depends how quickly you brought the knife down, to be honest. If, if, if you could get enough speed, you might be able to get through the bone in, maybe not first try. Next up, the scales. Do we count the I bowl? Would... Do, do we count the bowl as part of the scales? I would say yes. Because if so, it's kind of a dual weapon. I kind of want to say B tier because they can be rather heavy. And you can throw it or you can just like straight up slam it on someone's head and knock them out. Okay, hear me I out. might be hear me, hear me underestimating. Out. You take the like bowl off. If you take the bowl off, then it's got like the raised bits, which are like arms to hold the bowl. You push that into their face, that's going to hurt. That is going to hurt. They're going to struggle to keep that out of their eyes. They're going to struggle to keep it out of their mouth. And they can't see either. So that might exactly. be an A-tier weapon. But next up, we have a wooden spoon. It's good, I, but it's not great. Like, I, if I you had the knife... I, I would say it's about you, equal to good. spatula. Because I think... I would say that too, but it, you could sharpen it as well. You could. But there's sharpen. no guarantee, so it would probably go in B tier. Yeah, it's it's very situational, and also if you're whittling the spoon into a shank, you're gonna lose some of the sharpness of your knife. You, you're gonna waste some of that. And, and also, you do have the advantage. Preparation. Because, like, the regular spoon, it's tiny. You don't have a lot to grab onto, but the wooden yeah. spoon. Next up, we have a cupcake tray. It's a baking tray. But also, if you hit someone with the side where they're raised towards, you're going to hit in multiple places. You're going to get the same force That's over true. a smaller area, so it'll be more pressure against their head, so it'll do more damage. And you could use it as a shield still. Maybe a B tier? I was going to say B tier. Yeah. Because it is heavier than the baking tray, and you do have the shield ability, and the dents in it. Because, like, if someone has a knife and, like, they stab and they just stab, like, into one of those holes, like, they're really. Yeah. Like, it, they could just drop the knife. Next up, the sink. I mean, you can drown someone. If they're unconscious, yeah. you can fill the kettle. Like, it yeah. is a water I mean, source. I can't really imagine anything. Does it I, Does it come with the garbage disposal? Because some... I've never had one, but some do. Because if you have that, you can put someone's hand in there. Just because you can fill the kettle, 
Yeah, and the saucepan and anything else and you want to put hot water in. That would be S tier. Yeah, I think by itself, it's not particularly useful. You Sure, you can drown someone, but, you know, that's... It's like a support you, item. It's yeah, not yeah. like your main attack. Next up, the blender. You mentioned the garbage disposal before. But that doesn't have... Because assuming the sink does have the garbage disposal, the blender does not have the water. So it's almost as good, but not quite. Which okay. is why I'm going to put it in A tier. Okay, but the blender isn't attached to the countertop. You can pick the blender up and use it similarly to how you use the kettle as a melee weapon. And I think you can actually take the cup off and just like have that spinning blade, so I, that's pretty True. good. I didn't think True. about that first. So it's either A or S tier. And you could throw the lid as a distraction. Not going to so do for much, that dual but... purpose, I'll put it in S tier. Yeah, I, I, I would say S. So that would be a pretty good torture device if you just took off the top. Yeah. The potato peeler. That's a tough one. It's definitely above C tier, but I don't know how much further to put it. So I don't know like how handy it would be for a weapon, but I know yeah, I think for as a, a torture I, device. Yeah, as a weapon, it's limited. As a torture device, there's a lot more you can do with it. But similar think... to the knife, I feel like if I saw someone swinging one of those at me, my first thought would be, I don't want to lose my skin and I would run. But that might not work. Yeah, I think it's... I don't know. It's, it's not quite as guaranteed as the knife to scare someone. So A tier? Yeah. Yeah, I think A tier. Next up, a potato masher. You can use it as a weapon. Like a melee weapon. You, you've got better grip than on, you know, the knife, fork, and spoon. So B tier? Because, yeah, like, it does I, have I the think... grip. It is a bit bigger, but it's also not, like, the... It's not really a handy torture device, for example, like no, the you, can opener. You can't really use it for torch, because even potatoes, ma mashing potatoes is a pain in the ass if you've not got them properly softened. You're not going to be able to easily soften a person up. Next up, the bin or trash can. Is it a plastic one or a metal one? Because those are both one. actually good. Because okay. like, if you could just knock out the bottom, you have like armor pretty much. You know, as long as like True. you slide it up under your armpits, like you're protecting most of your valuable organs with that. I mean, equally. If you're in a pinch, and it's a bin like that one, you can throw it at someone. That's it, true. It might not do massive damage, but it might stumble them long enough for you to grab a proper weapon, like the kettle. So I'd probably so, put that in A tier. Yeah, I, I think that's an A tier. It's like it's armor, it's a weapon. You yeah. could put it on someone's head and they would get stuck because they couldn't move their arms. True. But then you'd, the only problem with that is you'd have trouble knocking them out if it was a metal one, because then you'd have to get them out first. But also they're incapacitated. Do you need to knock them out? No. That's actually a good point. Assuming I mean, you would keep them in there. I mean, if you've got it down over their head, you could grab something else and just smack the bin over and over if it's metal. And create an absolute racket in there. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty deserving of A yeah. tier. So the microwave. My personal favorite. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's got it's got the positives of the oven, but it's maybe not perfectly maneuverable, but certainly more so than the oven. You can definitely pick it up and throw it and Kind of like the kettle, you can heat water in it. And also... So you do have that. You've got a cord. The oven obviously does have a cord, but it's going to be out of the way. The microwave, however, you can get the cord and use it similarly to how you use the kettle's cord to choke someone out if you really need to. 
That's true. And if you really wanted to, you can break the glass on the door. Not only do you have glass, but if you can get that on someone's head and turn it on, you would exactly. fry their brain. So that might be quack tier. Finally, then, uh, your name for well, well, well. the tongs. There's a lot you can do with tongs. Like, hear me out. You, you can, like, kind of crab pinch people with it. You can use it, like, as an extended grabber. If you can sharpen, like, the ends, you have two knives, you can stab True. twice. I mean, stabbing twice as well. If you stab at the same time and then close them, you will take out a chunk of their flesh. Not to mention, if you could get behind them and grab the ends, you could kind of use that similar to the cord as a choking device. Yeah, yeah. It's got the grips. It, there's two ends, I guess. It, you can choke. You can yeah. grab. You can S scoop organs. Yeah. That is quack tier. Th that's another quack there. Are we happy with this? Is there anything... I think I'm happy with mm. that. I don't think there's anything I want to move. I'm pretty happy with it. Is there anything you would like to shout out? Uh, maybe my Bartholomew fr uh, Fringle Twitter. My subreddit r slash is today Thursday. If you ever want to know if it's Thursday, you go there. Just don't forget to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring that bell. According to his channel st statistics, 70% of you are not subscribed, so you better or else.